Finally, we turn to the United States. After Hurricane Sandy devastated his state, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie praised the response by President Barack Obama. Since that happened only a week before the election, some Republicans felt betrayed by Christie, casting a cloud over his future with the GOP. Michael Barbaro is here in our newsroom to talk about it. Michael, thanks very much for coming on the My show. My pleasure. Good morning. So this effusive praise that uh, Chris Christie lavished upon Obama happened a few weeks ago at this point. So why is it still such a big deal? Well, the number one reason is that Mitt Romney's loss was pretty big, and it's a huge open sore within the party. And as they try to figure out exactly what happened, one of the easier scapegoats is to look at what Chris Christie did in the last week of the race. And there's actually some validity to the argument that at least it shaped or influenced the outcome of the race. It's never going to be clear exactly how much. You know, one of the things that the Romney campaign did in the last few days when they sat around uh, licking their wounds was look at the data that showed that a lot of undecided voters said that the uh, hurricane was a big factor in their decision, and the vast majority of those people voted for Barack Obama. So hmm. why? Because he suddenly looked very presidential. He looked like a leader. And the Romney campaign uh, folks have been fairly straight, uh, candid in saying that Chris Christie, for good or bad, helped him look more like a president than a politician at a very crucial moment. So there's still a lot of Republicans who are mad about this, I take it. They're bitter. And uh, what Chris Christie did surprise them because he had been one of the more vocal and imaginative critics of uh, President Obama at, near the end of the campaign, joking that he was you know, like a guy in the dark fumbling around for the light switch of leadership. I mean, anyone who spends time with Chris Christie knows he's this larger-than-life character. So he seemed to swing from extremely, you know, kind of amusing criticism of Obama to really effusive and emotional praise of him with real speed. And has this affected uh, Christie's donor base at this point, or does it look like it will? That's one of the great questions probably for the next few years. Chris Christie's one of the leading figures in the party, likely or perceived as likely to run for president in 2016. And one of the great gifts that Mitt Romney could hand off to Chris Christie would be this huge and very wealthy network of donors. It's something that Mitt Romney did in 2008 when he from, lost from in the McCain. primaries. He delivered that with a bow tie to John McCain. Will he do the same thing to Chris Christie? That depends on how much diplomacy there is in that relationship, how much repair work there may be in the next couple of weeks, months. And as we were talking before the show, I mean, while personality-wise Romney and Christie are very, very mm -hmm. different people, it seems like they might still appeal to the same base of donors in some ways, right? That's right, and the same kind of Republicans. I mean, one of the things that the Republican Party is doing right now in this you know, kind of wilderness, soul-searching period where they lost by a big margin and they thought they were going to win this presidential election, is they're trying to figure out what kind of party they want to be. Do they want to be a party that embraces moderates? And Christie, despite having such a profoundly different personality than Mitt Romney, shares that image as a Northeastern guy who is moderate. And uh, there's a lot of reason to believe that folks who supported Mitt Romney could get behind Chris Christie if they believe that he is a reliable standard bearer for the party, rather than somebody who looks out just for himself. Is Chris Christie just for Chris Christie? Which was one of the criticisms of his speech at the convention, That's right? That's right. His convention speech uh, scarcely mentioned Mitt Romney. There's some debate about whether or not the Romney people really were very angry at that speech or not. But the perception within the party was that Chris Christie showed up at a moment that was meant to be a celebration of Mitt Romney, and he seemed to celebrate himself. And that's a similar criticism of the way he handled the storm. He was uh, drawing lots of attention t to himself and to his relationship with Barack Obama. Now, reasonable people, by the way, believe that Chris Christie did exactly what a governor is meant to do, to rise above partisanship, to praise somebody who did a good job, and to not get mired in politics in a moment of crisis. Uh, but Republican partisans, who, as we've discussed, are just really upset at the moment, don't see it that way.